right, so today what I'm actually going to show you guys is I'm making an all vegetarian meal today. And like I said, sometimes I do eat without meat. There's several times during the week I like to eat meals without meat. And so this is an actual an excellent meal. And today I'm making a green curry dish. And what I'm going to be using for my green curry dish is I'm going to be using red peppers, green peppers. I have some thin sliced red onions. I have some eggplant, some thicker sliced red onions, chickpeas, and I have a little bit of cilantro there right, as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start my dish. And I start my dish off by sauteing my red onions, the thin sliced ones, in the pan. So I go ahead and put those in. All right. Um, I am going to then next throw in about a tablespoon or so of garlic. Perfect. All right. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my red peppers. Just a little bit. I don't want all of them in there. A little bit of the green. All right. And a little bit of the larger green onions. So I'm going to go ahead and just saute them up for about two minutes or so. Next thing, throw a little bit of cilantro in there. All right. And let's go ahead and add in our eggplant. You want to put all your eggplant in because your eggplant needs to cook up a little bit more than the other stuff. Throw that in there, and toss that eggplant around. Now that our onions are looking a little bit more cooked, remember this is on a high heat, so, just around a little bit. All right. Give it about another minute. Okay. Now I add one cup of organic coconut milk. up a little bit. Perfect. And once that comes to a slight boil, because it's a little hot, I'm now going to go ahead and turn my stove down to about medium. So now that my is simmering, now it's time to start adding in my seasoning so I can go ahead and season up my food. So one of the first things I'm going to start with, as usual, is I'm going to put a little bit of coarse black pepper. Obviously, you're going to season this to your own taste. So a little coarse black pepper. Next up, I'm going to put some dried basil. I'm going to put now some Himalayan sea salt. And I'm going to put a little bit of crushed red peppers. All right. I'm going to stir that up a little bit. Fantastic. Now it's time for me to add my chickpeas because I have to cook my chickpeas so that they get nice and tender. So go ahead and throw my chickpeas in there. In. All right, now that it starts to simmer, now I'm going to go ahead and add in my green curry paste. So I do about two or three nice sized teaspoons of green curry paste. And this is Thai green curry paste. Add that in, and then you go ahead and you stir it in. Okay. 
I always like to add a little bit of regular curry. So just about a tablespoon or so of regular curry. And then something that always enhances the taste of curry is a little bit of turmeric. Once again, this is just my recipe. You don't have to put the turmeric and the other curry in. Let me go ahead and mix it in. Now I add a little bit of non-salt seasoning to this. Once again, this is a bunch of dried seasonings, but no additional salt is necessary. Add that in. Next up, I'm going to put in the rest of my fresh peppers. Once again, these are fresh cut peppers so that it can be nice and crisp. A little bit more of my onions. A little bit of cilantro. And then we go ahead and stir this in. We'll turn this pot down to extra low for about another 15 minutes or so and let this simmer. But that's how your dish is done. So now we're almost done. It's nice and simmered. Got all my veggies in there. And that's how this dish is going to be. I tend to pair my dish with a little bit of uh, sweet potatoes. You can do it over rice. Um, only other thing I'm gonna add in here is I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of cilantro at the end. But that is how the dish is done. Nice and simple. Nice vegetarian dish. Um, tons of nutrients. Uh, you have protein from your chickpeas and from your eggplants. Tons of fiber, uh, tons of vitamins and minerals and excellent taste. Once again, check it out. Let me know how you like it.